New Zealand Stitch Bird. Welcome today. We're going to be talking about the Allegro um, drawstring pants. They have a wee tie and they have elastic going around the front. I will put a picture of the pattern up just up here so you can see it up a bit close and also links to the Love Notions website with the pattern. So I've been busy. I've made several pair of these. First thing I want to talk about some shorts. I'm not going to have a pick of these because it's a little bit cold in New Zealand at the moment. Uh, but these ones have like the denim stitching and I've made my own aglets. There's a video on that which I will link also uh, in the description box below explaining how to do those. This is just a cord with metal aglets. I really like the comfort of these. I've got really roomy pockets. They're a great length, but I did alter the pattern a wee bit for the shorts. What I did was I just added a bit at the bottom because I wanted them a little bit more flared out at the bottom. And I also did it quite a bit on the front and the back. So both on the crotch, the inner leg seam, sorry, and the outer leg seam. So it's just a matter of trialing. This one here I've got probably at the base about two inches slowly um, grading up to the notch on the side and in the inner leg seam the same just probably about half an inch grading up to the crotch I just think they're a little bit more flattering having a little bit more around the leg uh, on shorts not so bad on the trousers I really like the cut of the trousers so First up, I've got the ones that I'm wearing at the moment with a white cord and I think I did put a patch pocket on the back for these ones but you can admit that if you don't want to but I'll have a picture of those up there with me wearing this. My next pair was in a very soft, slightly stretchy um, sort of a drill and I did a self cord made by just folding the fabric in half and folding it into the centre and I just knotted these um, cords. The elastic is stitched through the waistband twice so it keeps it from um, unravelling, makes it sit nice and flat. They're so comfy to wear on these ones. I did put a patch pocket on the back as well. Don't always do that. I really like how you can wear them because you can have the band showing a bit, we can untuck, have a little bit just tucked in the front. Really easy to um, find things to wear with. I think I'll go to my navy pair next. The navy pair, I made my own aglets by using shrink electrical tubing. And I did talk about that in my previous video. And again, you've got the two lines of stitching through the waistband. These ones have got nice roomy, roomy pockets again. Just really easy to wear. And you dress them up or dress them down. This pair here, I decided to go outside the square a wee bit. And I've put a ribbon for the drawstring. And down the side, I've added a wee decorative stripe. And on this pair... I didn't have enough fabric as per, so I lined the pockets with a wee bit of cotton quilting, which you hardly even notice, but it's just a fun wee thing to have on the inside of the pocket. These are like a sort of a linen mix, and they're really, really comfortable to wear, nice and cool in the summer, but you can dress them up with warm merinos and things for the winter. So I was really pleased with those ones. Now the next set, I really wanted a pair of tartan pants for winter and I didn't want them tight because I don't think they're that flattering tight so this was an excellent pattern for that because there's a little bit of room in the legs. Um, I did the pockets again, lined it with the tartan. Drawstring, I cheated a little bit on this one. I got two shoelaces overlapped them on the inside, zigzagged them together and then just left the other ends just like with shoelace and threaded that through 
as I mentioned in my previous video, it's quite tricky to get nice cord, especially if you want the ends finished. So I did those and then just did something really different. I made like a tunic top and I'm going to have this on so you can wear a long sleeve underneath it. So when it's worn together, it looks like a bit like a jumpsuit and I just thought that could be a little bit more practical for me uh, rather than wearing, making the jumpsuit out of the tartans. So I've got pieces I can mix and match. I could wear this with jeans, black pants. And then I've got the pants to wear with other tops and things. So I thought that was something a wee bit more um, practical for me. And I'm going to be making another one of these in blue denim colour to wear with my jeans. It just means that you can pop a t-shirt underneath. You can use a merino when it's cooler. Or something like I'm wearing now which is a three-quarter tee. Just to... Um, give you that extra layer of warmth and it looks quite nice underneath the jacket as well So I thought that was something just a wee bit different The pattern for this is an older new look pattern I believe if it's still available I'll link it or I'll find something similar It has a band that goes around the top which is really the facing on this one I folded it to the inside but on the pattern you fold it to the outside so the next one I make will have a contrasting band around the top. Nice wide straps, so really easy to wear. So I think that's about all to show you, apart from the pictures. I'll put pictures, close-up pictures, especially of the shorts and the stitching. And I will put some pictures on, in there when wearing some of the Allegro pants. I've also made the skirt, I've made the shorter version and a white drill it's just packed away with all my summer clothes at the moment because it's very cold in New Zealand I'm quite keen to make the midi or the long length for summer in a nice linen excellent pattern I can't recommend it enough it's so easy to um, put together um, you can probably make them if you've got them pre-cut out in less than about an hour or so especially if you overlock really super super quick Thanks for joining me. Next week I'm going to have a quick video on how I store and catalogue my patterns. So I have one way to store and catalogue my big four likes of New Lock, Vogue, um, can't think of the others at the moment, my brain's just gone crazy, Simplicity, Style, all those patterns. Because you just start running out of room to have them perhaps in your, in your sewing room, so I've got a way that I store those. And I've just set up a new way to store all my indie patterns because I'm really enjoying making things with these, so I want to be able to have them handy. And sometimes I forget what I've actually bought. So it's quite handy to look through and you think, oh, dear, I haven't actually bought that one yet, but there it is, you've bought it. So it's quite good to have a record. And you can write notes. I'm intending to write notes on the back of how I've catalogued them, showing the size that I've made, what type of fabric I used, um, what I would do differently next time, which will save me a lot of time because sometimes I open up the packet and I think, what did I do last time? Did I make any alterations? Did I add any extra length in? Did I have to change elastic sizes and that kind of thing? So I thought it would be really good to start taking or noting down a bit of a um, record of what I've used, where I got the fabric from, that kind of thing. It's just going to make it so much easier. So I have people ask me, oh, so what size did you make? And I just can't think off the top of my head. So it will be really handy for that. So people can easily um, find that information. Anyway, thanks for joining and look forward to seeing you next week with the pattern storage um, overview. Thank you.